Hi everyone and welcome to my messy desk edition of Plan With Me. <laughs> this is April. This is me. If you have been a subscriber for some time, you know I plan with Chardonnay or a blush or really anything. I'm, I'm not particular. This week I'm going to be planning in my Erin Condren Horizontal horizontal neutral planner which is just not quite neutral enough so I'm gonna go ahead and block some of this out Doo -doo. Um, singing is free everything else is extra you can join my patreons for a lot more fun trust me it is a lot more fun I don't know if they would agree to that you may want to ask them first before heading on over there and checking it out but i think we have a lot of fun over on patreon do, 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 do. coming in hot today planning out the week here uh june 15th through the 21st which is father's day so much fun do i want to do bows again or no let's do this one let's Let's do a pop of yellow. This is a pastel yellow. I'm liking how it looks. I'm liking how you look. You look nice today, if I may say so myself. Put that in there. Wonderful. Wonderful, I say. Let's go ahead and pop this down. Doop. And boop. And then our yellow again. I don't know that this is actual yellow, but I do really like it. I think it looks really good. Little Papa Pastel. Shout out to all of my Patreons. We've added over the last few days, and I cannot thank you guys enough for entrusting me. To bring you good content or marginal content with a sense of humor it's more or less marginal content with a sense of humor that's what you're getting please don't expect anything more than that otherwise you might be disappointed as you can tell I dove into my simply gilded box of treasures and Got myself some bows and washi tape. Dun, 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 dun. I honestly do the Simply Gilded monthly subscription box, so I do enjoy using up that beautiful washi tape that she does every month. It's one of my favorite gifts in the mail. Gift to myself. What kind of gifts do you guys send yourself? I... Ironically, did you like that? How I ironically, I send myself flowers. I have been married for 25 years, yes, to the same man. Go figure, he has the patience of a saint to stay with me that long. Kidding, kind of. Um, yeah, we've been together for a bit of time, and he has never once sent me flowers, and I have never once chastised him for it. Thing is, I just send them to myself, and believe it or not, I will message him, send him a text with a picture attached of the flowers, and I'll be like, thank you so much for the flowers, I love you, and more often than not, he'll reply with, they're beautiful, you deserve them, you know, or they're as beautiful as you, enjoy them. It just, it makes life a lot easier. I get that he's not a flower sender. Is that a thing? Is a flower sender a thing? Anyway, when we were first married, I would hint. It would be nice if you sent me flowers. Oh, so-and-so at the office sent so-and-so flowers. It was beautiful. And he'd be like, well, that's nice. Never quite catching on to the hint that I was giving, right? So finally, rather than being continually disappointed in, you know, somebody who doesn't get the hint, I just decided, you know what? He's obviously not a flower sender. 
Why am I fighting this? If I want flowers, I'm an independent woman. I can send myself flowers. And it's so funny. Um, we've lived here in the same town now for 10 years. So when I call myself in flowers, the lady's like, oh, hey, April, how are you? I'm like, good, how are you? She's like, are these from yourself? Yeah, yeah. And at first it was kind of awkward. Like I felt like I needed to tell them they were from somebody else. But I'm like, no, it's fine. And now when I call, they're, they're totally cool with it. They're like, oh, yeah, what do you want this month? And I'm like, well... I'm feeling, you know, daisies or Gerber daisies or lilacs. They're always so sweet about it. And that would be, that would be my recommendation. If you're married and you're like, gosh, my husband never sends me flowers and I've hinted to it. You know what? You are a grown woman or you are a grown man. If your significant other or your spouse doesn't send you flowers, you do it for yourself and then just thank them. And really, it works out. I gotta be careful, I'm like flashing my, my palette knife here, like I'm getting all aggressive. It actually works out really well because then, you know, they get a little boost of, oh my gosh, you know, my, Wes is like, oh my wife, you know, she's, she's such a goofball. And I'm like, am I a goofball? He's like, of course you are, you send yourself flowers. And I'm like, well, I like flowers. He's like, I get that. I'm the worst at sending you. Oh, you know what? I thought I wanted pink, but I don't. Let's pop on over to yellow. Sorry. And you're probably wondering what in the world I'm doing. Well, I don't know. We're going to play this by ear. Here's what I know for sure. I love washi tape. I love washi tape. And I love filling your ears with stories. So, if you're here for that, just stay here for that. If you're here for like, this is why I'm doing it, mm, probably not the channel for you. Anyway, I remember the first time I sent myself flout, myself, goodness gracious, have another drink of Chardonnay, April. I remember the first time I sent myself flowers and I called Wes and I'm like, hey, I just wanted to let you know if you see the charge, it was from me. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I just, I needed flowers today. He's like, oh, okay, well, not a problem. So each time after that, and I don't do it, I wish I did it monthly. I do. I wish I wish I had the, the thought to do it monthly, but I don't. I just send them probably four times a year, so every quarter-ish I send myself flowers. And the last time I did it, Wes laughed in his text, and he's like, you know, it's funny because the guys at work will see that and I'll tell them, yeah, my wife send, sends herself flowers because I won't. And they're like, oh my gosh, my wife would be so mad, you know, or I can't believe your wife does that. Mine expects me to do it. I don't expect my husband to do anything. I really don't. If he wants to do something, sure. I don't put that expectation on him. Here's the thing. I am probably the worst thoughtful person. Does that make sense? I am so selfish about most things in our marriage. It's all about me and me and me and me. And while I support everything that he does, I su there I go with that damn palette knife again. It's like a, a weapon. It's not, it's really quite thin, but I probably could hurt someone with it. Me, probably me as that person. Hashtag I also call myself that. Do I want to go in the middle here? Talking out loud. Do I want to do middle again or do I want to do two? You're thinking, well, April, what are you going to use these columns for? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. 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 All right. We're going to go. We're going to go in threes. So let's go here. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, you know, it, there's just no sense in putting these expectations on your spouse. If you get married and he's like, oh, yeah, I'll send you flowers every week for the rest of our lives. Sure. Then do it. But if he doesn't, I mean, come on. Is that is that a big picture? It's not. It's not for me anyway. Flowers are not a big picture for me. I can send them to myself. My favorite flower in the whole entire universe is lilacs. 
and it's a real shame because they bloom twice a year or once a year and it's usually right as spring approaches and they only bloom for like 30 seconds okay a little bit longer than that but if you have a lilac bush you know they only bloom for just a blink hey why is that hold on wait up why is that did I do that wrong I did okay all right whatever um if you have lilac bushes, you know they're just a blink. Like in the world of things that bloom, they are a blink. I love them because they remind me of my grandma. So my grandma lived not far away, but far enough away that if we were going there, we had to make a day trip. Like you, you couldn't just stay 15 minutes. She's kind of like where Wes and I live for my granddaughter, Kennedy. It's a day trip. Like you have to have a whole day to travel there and then, you know, have fun and then go back home. So my grandma's house was out in the middle of nowhere um, in the city of Ryrie, Idaho, if you know where that is. That's, that is where my grandma lived. And as you drove up her driveway, which was a lane, it was... I think it was paved. God, I was so young. And it's so funny what you remember when you're a kid. Um, and I feel really chatty today. So I hope you guys don't mind that I'm sharing the story. Anyway, so my grandma's house was in the um, kind of, she had a farmhouse. It was in the middle of nowhere, middle of Ryrie. So we would go up there and... The lane to get to her house was just lined with all of these lilac trees. And I don't know if we often went in the springtime when they were blooming, but I remember, I remember sitting in the back seat and I remember my mom rolling down the window and just smelling the lilacs and smelling that sweet, and, and my, my grandma had all three different kinds. I think there's probably more than three, but she had three. She had the light lavender, the dark purple, and the white. And I remember the light lavender ones were the ones that smelled the best. Like you just, you would take a bunch of them and you would just put them in your face and you'd breathe in and they just, they smelled so sweet and so fragrant. And I, they're my favorite flower. But again, you can only get them for a blink in the springtime. They're not they're not something you can get all the time. And I have two lilac bushes at the house here that Wes planted for me. So to say he's never bought me flowers isn't true. He bought me lilac bushes because he knows how much they mean to me. Um, and he got, there's, is there two or three? There's two. And one is a hybrid and it's supposed to bloom twice a year, which it's not big enough yet to even bloom, so I'll I'll let you know if it blooms twice a year. But yeah, that's why I love lilacs. That's why they are my favorite flower. And I'm not sure why we got sidetracked on that tangent, but good grief, there we went. Hello, welcome back. What is your favorite flower? Maybe that's where we got on it. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But look, we got everything everything marked out here. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Sure, sorry. This is this is how it is. So let's go ahead and put in here, I've got my Planner Kate's, um, all my different stickers from Planner Kate. Let's put in some workout stickers. I think I'm gonna use the yellows and oranges just to have those in there. Let me grab these. I think we're done with the palette knife, so I don't need to hurt anyone with that. I am not working out on Monday. To the best of my abilities, Mondays are not a good workout day. No, 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 no. Let's do Tuesday and Thursday so far. Let's not set ourselves up for too much disappointment because you know as well as I do, if you've been following my channel, this is not gonna happen. It's not. I mean, it looks pretty in my planner and that's really all it is. It's just to look pretty in my planner. AM and PM routines. Brrr. I'm just going to put these in here because I know, mm, again, I don't know if these are going to happen. I don't, guys. Sometimes I feel like I set myself up for failure just to do it. I like to say, hey, 
you've got a lot going on in your life right now. Let's do something you can fail at and it's okay. Like I give myself an out. AM and PM routines are gonna be my out this week of, hey, you did a lot, you did a whole lot, be proud of yourself. And you know what, AM and PM routines are not that big of a deal. That's, that's what I'm allowing myself this week. And thankfully, Planner Kate offers AM and PM stickers in bulk so that I can put them in every day of the week and I may or may not actually do them one or two days this week. So there's our AM routine, bada bing, bada boom. And then since we're over on this side, let's mark, hi Mark. Well, let's mark some laundry time because we all know who doesn't like to mark their laundry time. I'm gonna put it here over this sticker. I know it's Father's Day, I'm gonna call my dad. I'll put it in right now so that nobody worries about it. Call dad. And I'm gonna put dads in here. Cause I do have two dads, I'm married. So I have a father-in-law and I have a dad. My dad, obviously. Um, some of you might actually have more than one dad or two dads if you're married and you've got mixed families and stuff like that, which is awesome. Where do I want to put my PM routine? That sounds so inappropriate. I think I'll put it here. Gosh, I love these stickers. You guys get on Planner Kate. Show her some love. Show her some love. If you're on Facebook, go follow her Facebook page. She has a group, actually, that's pretty amazing. I say pretty amazing because I'm part of it, but that's not why. It could be why. It's not why. Anyway. Hashtag Chardonnay. <laughs> Hashtag Chardonnay and Wes is working today. So I've got like tons of time to dote on my channel. Dedicate, dote, I don't know. Sure. Let's just make up words. I mean, why not? Well, why not, right? Okay. There we have it. Um, I do know on Monday I have a meeting, a meeting, a very important meeting at 9 a.m. This is my Pilot G210. To get back to the reason that you turn in, tune into this channel is to find out, you know, the, the stuff that's happening. And then on Friday, oh. Almost laid that down. What is happening? Meeting on Friday at work, of course. And this one is at 10 a.m. Perfect. Back to that. Back to life. Mm -hmm. Do I want all capitals? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. So Monday, I'm going to be filming. What am I going to be filming, you ask? Well, let me tell you. I just started a new book. Uh, oh, I work um, at a... Po uh, no, that's, that's not a timeout. Back it up. Back, back, back it up. I work full time for the city. I am a support staff for law enforcement. Yeah. Something that I say hesitantly now with the way the world is, but honestly, I live in a very small town. Our police department is very much loved by all of our community, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for that. Um, I do also have a side hustle where I write books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a few books that are available on Kindle right now. Also, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Hold on, hold on. I think this is the first time I've actually really promoted them on my channel, so let me just show you. Here's the first one. Hey lady, are these your underwear? By yours truly. Yep, that's my book. Yep, it's a real paperback. Yep, I wrote all the words. Anyway, the other one is, hey lady, are these, or no, that's, <laughs> that's hey lady. The other one is, who's the girl in the fat suit? Yep, it's a book too. Yep, I did all of it. Anyway, if you're interested in a copy of these, I do have some extra signed copies as the author. You can message me or comment down below. I will get you a copy. So 
I am working on my next book and it's actually under a pseudoname because where these two books are nonfiction, they're truth. They're like funny quirks about my life. Um, if you like my channel and like my, my weird sense of humor, you might like these books. Um, but the other one that I'm starting, it's called Deep. And it is a fictional romance novel that I get all embarrassed about talking about. And I actually don't publish it under my name. It's under a pseudoname, Veronica Cole. I know, right? Veronica Cole. It's, it is what it is, guys. So if you're interested in that, uh, I'll put like her information down below and you can go check it out. She's pretty provocative. It's like my alter ego. Do you guys have an alter ego where like if you go out on the town one night, you're like, yeah, I'm going to wear this dress and I'm going to be someone different. That's what, that's, that's what Veronica Cole is to me. She's like that naughty side of me that I am so vanilla. God, I am so vanilla. I rarely have sprinkles. Like I'm just plain vanilla. Vanilla? Vanilla. Jeez Louise. Veronica, like drinks Long Island iced teas and she stays up way too late and she never has a hangover and she's, yeah, with different men all the time. Not me. That's not me. Um, I could probably only live in her world for, I was going to say a night, but I'm like, mm, I'm 44. I could probably live three nights in her world, but after that I'd be like, Rrr. I need a Caesar salad and a green smoothie to like get my life back in order. What else? So on Monday, I know I need to film how the book is coming along for people that are following that part of my life. And if, if you want to follow that part of my life, feel free. If you don't want to, just stay here. Here is safe. Like here you don't have to worry about, you know, knots or ropes or bondage or anything like that. Here you're safe. Here is here you're safe. So I'm just gonna put Veronica Cole. The other fun thing about having a pseudoname, and I'll be really honest with you, is you get to sign your name differently as a different person and you get to kind of imagine yourself as a different person. Which I kind of enjoy, kind of. I enjoy, let's be honest, because I am so vanilla. And I have been married for 25 years. And I don't know about you, but if you've been married that long, you know every once in a while you want to spice it up a little bit. So having a pseudoname that I can write a smut novel under, sure. It just adds to creativity, I guess. Poor Wes. He has no idea what he's in for. I promise he has no idea what he's in for. Because I, I have to test some things out. And by test things out, I'm like, you know, sure. I don't know how he's going to react. So when, or yeah, Wednesday, I need to upload, and I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to put Veronica Cole, and I'll know. I'll know what that means. So on Monday, I'm hoping my Amazon order comes in of my boots. I got some really cool like, um, do you guys remember the Doc Martin style boots? They're kind of like, um, I don't even know how I would explain them. They've got like a thick sole, like a riser. And then the ones that I got are actually white with black grommets and then black laces. They're pretty cool. And you're like, wait a minute, time out, April. You just said you're 44. Sure. Sure. Whatever. I am, but I don't usually act it very often. So there's, there's that. Workout on Tuesday. I would love to work out my back. I would love to spend an hour, but I'm not going to mark that time and I'm not going to mark the calories either. On Thursday, it needs to be a legs day because I have secret goals of having a thigh gap. Duh! I heard you laugh. Mm. I really need to post a picture of myself so that you guys know what I look like so that when I say things like a thigh gap, you can get that sarcastic humor that I throw out there. Ladies and gents, I've never had a, 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 a fly gap or a thigh gap. I don't even know where, where a fly would come into there. I was thinking like jeans, whatever. This has really gone downhill fast. Let's get this filled out. Let's focus. Let's focus. 
Okay, so Tuesday, I know I am going to have emails at work. I want to have a zero inbox, which is nearly impossible for more than seven minutes. So for seven minutes, I'd like to have a zero inbox. On Thursday, I need to do an Instagram post for you know who. We're just going to call her Ronnie. We're going to change her name and we're going to call her Ronnie, this gal right here. So we need to do that for deep. And then I know, did I say on Tuesday, getting a delivery from HelloFresh? We cut back because I have not been cooking. We cut back to two meals a week. We were at four and they were going bad in the fridge. So I had to kind of adult and be like, okay, settle, settle down, settle down. I also know on Monday I need to meal plan and I really should have used a Cindy sticker for that, but I didn't pull it out. That's what she said. That is not what she said. And then on Tuesday, because I'm working out, I'm not going to have a lot of time in the morning. So maybe here I'll, no, here. I'm going to do an evening shower after I work out because it'll be gross. Same here. By gross, I mean my hair will be gross. I am a, I am a sweater. Oh, I also ordered a sweat like waist trainer from Amazon. I'm excited to see how that's going to work. Obviously, I'm not going to work out this weekend because I didn't put a sticker in. And if there's no sticker, it's not going to happen. I do know on Saturday I want to do a deep conditioner on my hair. Mask hair. If you guys don't know, my hair is platinum right now. I went straight from red, a 6RR direct dye, to platinum. And it's been quite an adventure. I'm actually going to go like a darker gray. If you're a Patreon, I'll put the picture over there so you guys can see it. If you're not a Patreon, you know consider it. There's more mayhem over there that you can get into. I don't know what I'm going to do with this other than it looks really nice. Saturday, of course, I think I have, where is my laundry sticker? My laundry, laundry. It's time to do the laundry. And you'd think, April, you do this every week. Why do you have to mark it? Well, because it fills up space in my planner and we don't want... Oh my God, is that real? Is summer beginning on Saturday? You shut your mouth. Oh, I'm so excited summer's going to be here, guys. This is going to be great. I'm excited. I'm ready for summer. I'm not ready for murder hornets, but I am ready for summer. All right. We got a little sidetracked. I want to zoom in a little bit so you can see the whole planner, the whole kit and caboodle that we've put together for this week. I still need to add um, a few more things like weather because I forgot to, to look when I was doing my pre-planning. Sorry. Again, we used the washi from Simply Gilded. You guys all know it's one of my favorites. Palette knife from Amazon. This is the Seekers Cove 2. Pretty fancy. And of course the, the long tweezers again from Amazon. And then Planner Kate stickers. Love her. Check her out on Etsy. Follow her on Facebook. She's got a lot of great stuff. If you are interested in a signed copy of the book, yes, I do have limited supply right now that I can send out to you. Of course, I'm not going to charge you because I love you guys because you subscribe and, you know, that's the way it is. I hope you have the very best rest of your week. Tune in next time and I'm sure you'll get some antics. I love you guys. Shout out to all of my beautiful Patreons. You guys know I do all of this for you. I appreciate you so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.